Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can apply a grouping to a report that will illustrate hierarchical relationships in the underlying data source. Many times, this type of relationship is created by what is referred to as a self-join within a table, where one field's values, such as an employee ID, appear as two different fields' values, for example, an employee ID field as well as a supervisor ID field. Creating a hierarchical grouping allows you to view and sort the data based on the relationship between these two fields. If you have a relationship like the one mentioned within the table or tables in your report, you can create a hierarchical grouping on the data. To create a hierarchical grouping, first create a data grouping on the field which is the basis for your hierarchy such as the Employee ID field. Set any display options for the group and sort it in ascending order. Once you have the group created, then select Report and choose the Hierarchical Grouping Options command from the menu bar. This will open the Hierarchical Group Options dialog box. You will see the listing of the groups that you have created in your report shown in the Available Groups list at the left side of the dialog box. Click the name of the group that you want to sort hierarchically in this list. Then check the Sort Data Hierarchically checkbox. This makes the Parent ID field dropdown become active. Use this dropdown to select the name of the field by which you want the group that you selected in the Available Groups list organized. So using our previous example, if you had selected the Employee ID as the field by which you are grouping the data, then you would choose the Supervisor ID field from the Parent ID field dropdown to display the employees hierarchically sorted by whom they report to as displayed within the Supervisor ID field. Note that to create a hierarchical organization, you must have two fields that share the same data type. Once you have the field selected, you can then type a number into the group indent box. The number which you type into this box is the number in inches by which you want to indent the records underneath each grouping. When you are finished, click the OK button to apply the hierarchical grouping. Notice that when you are inserting summary fields, you will now have the ability to calculate the field's values across the hierarchical grouping that you have created by checking the Summarize Across Hierarchy option. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.